Hello guys, I'm Shane Davis, 20 year comment veteran. I'm here with Yanzi Lin, and we are talking about something we have covered on this here channel. Please hit like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Warren Ellis, uh, and there is a new Warren Ellis thing today, but it's actually not too new. But that's the video, isn't it? Is why are they always circling Warren Ellis like a bunch of buzzards? So first, let's catch you up. You want to explain this in a nutshell? Well, Warren Ellis was cancelled back in 2020. I would say not exactly the height of Me Too, but kind of when it's trickling the end. So a group of 60 plus women and you know non-binary individuals, they have to be very specific about that, claimed that they have been groomed by Warren Ellis. Um, it seems like it basically is what... They go to his forum, they chat with him, they receive personal DMs, then there's some exchange of messages, and I guess there's the expectation that, you know, eventually Warren Ellis will help them get a job in some industry or something like that. I'm not sure what it is. The point is that it's a bunch of, they are very explicit here, often between the ages of 19 to 26, and they're like, oh, we've been groomed. It's like, no, 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 at that point in time, you're an adult. Take some responsibility. You can say, yes, I've been manipulated. I've and, been and, tricked, I've been coerced, but you were not groomed. You are old enough. Grooming is strictly for children. All right, right. with that out of the way, so this is what happened to Warren Ellis. They put out this statement, and it basically became a huge cancellation fest for Warren Ellis, even though this woman are also on record saying, we do not want him cancelled. We want right. him to, you know, uh, realize what crime he committed, you know, what he did wrong. We want him to atone for it, and that's it. Whatever that is. Okay, so... He basically had a smear campaign brought up against him, uh, Hollywood Reporter, things like that. So you're like, Shane, this is old news. Why bring this up? Because they won't quit bringing it up. Now, Warren Ellis to create an audio drama podcast and the return of Injection, which I think was an Image comic. Now, that doesn't mean it'll be published by Image Comics. It just means like, um, which actually I think he almost had a comic brought up at Image and then it got canceled. Uh, but what this means is like he owns the project. He could just self-publish it. Or he could crowdfund it, whatever. I want to talk about this in a couple of angles. Who knows what happened besides the people that consented? Obviously, they were 19 plus. Um, the word grooming is taken out of context. These women, they were of age. It looks like it was consensual. And um, people want to cancel him. Never was Warren Ellis a publisher. Technically, he did not have the ability to give these women jobs if they were sending him nudes or having whatever sexual relationships with him. He could not technically make Marvel or DC hire them. So that's kind of the thing. They, they, they kind of frame him as like he held power above us that we might get in the comics through whatever they did. The truth of... It, this is, from what I understand, is basically these women found out about one another. That's yeah. where things kind of became a problem. Ultimate Playa got caught. But anyways, this is the problem with this whole situation is this Bleeding Cool article. Because you see all these blue lines? This is Rich Johnson pointing back to every one of his articles that he's covered about this man who, uh, and this is criminal in a weird way. And what happened is Warren Ellis, I'm going to sum this up real quick. He basically put out a newsletter and he said, I might return to this comic one day. Stay tuned. And I'm going to do this audio drama podcast, not even a comic book, right? Just some type of audio drama thing that I guess he thinks is a cool idea. This man's lost his Netflix deal, his TV shows. He was well into Hollywood, had a Hollywood Reporter article written on him. So I can promise you, he probably had a lot of things in production that don't exist anymore, okay? DC did finish up a run, Batman the Grave, with Brian Hitch, um, but I don't see Warren Ellis working on anything else. He was pulled from, like, a Dark Knight's Metal um, backup story, which is, and, 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 of course, like, the writer of the book, which I think was Scott Snyder, really had to boast about, you know, pulling him from it. So again, cancel culture. This targeting and this reference and this persistence on something that this, as far as I know, the man's not been found guilty of anything in a, any court of law. Like, I don't know if there's been a crime committed. And, and and if I'm as confused about this, if somebody can enlighten me, like, has is there something that we don't know about? Because in all of this stuff, I don't hear anything about any legal action or a lawsuit or anything like that. So 
I'm perplexed by this. But what's disgusting about this to me is he says he might do a podcast and the comic industry is right away pointing and blowing a whistle. Oh my God, guys, I heard about it. He might write something one day. And and somebody and they, they probably set up all these hints are like, oh, is he going to write his obituary? No, he's going to write a podcast. Oh, and they click, 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 click. It's a problem. Because that's reality of this is that these people only want him to write his own obituary at this point. Whatever money of this podcast so is up to whoever listens to it. He's saying he might return to a book that he fucking owns. That he's the fucking owner of one day. One day, he doesn't He doesn't even know when. And it is interesting because one of the few things that Warren Ellis, a lot of people in the American comic book industry said he did right, was this mailing list. So now they're using his mailing list to basically point targets on everything that he thinks he might get the gumption to write one day. And look, here's the thing. Like, he still hasn't been proven guilty of anything as legally. Like, I mean, it, and this is like t- two years? And if this is what the American comic book industry wants to spend their time doing, not looking at themselves. I mean, look, the American comic book industry, I've never worked with Warren Ellis. I, I really, I, I, I just find this, this subject and the way everybody's handling it just really strange. It's almost like everybody read too many fucking superhero books and everybody wants to be a vigilante and take the whole, um, you know, and use cancel culture and take the law, so to speak, in their own hands. I mean, like, I'm not even sure. I'm not saying he's innocent of anything, but I, at the same time, I sure as shit, I wouldn't say he's guilty either. Well, definitely like, in a country like America, where everyone is very litigious, if there was something to be prosecuted about, don't you think that a lawyer would have taken up the case by now? Right. And this is coming from a, and this started from the, whatever the name of the site is, so many of us, right? Which, which the name is kind of like leading the witness a little bit. So many of us, Uh, a lot of these people that tally up, some of them are like, I read about this and this triggered me. So my name goes on this list. Some of these people never even had interactions with him. A lot of these people have also left the site from my understanding. The, the, the issue really to me sums up in like you can't just take the law in your hands and 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 this isn't even the law so to speak this is just like the, the denying somebody the ability to do something to feed themselves and again this is cancel culture 101 we all know it we talk about it here on this stream but still it's like you know the guy isn't working at Marvel or DC or even Image or any other company and you guys are taking issue. I mean, hasn't he lost enough losing Netflix deals? God knows. Again, I have to stress this. When you when you have a, a script, a screenplay play greenlit, that thing could be in production for 10 years. Warren Ellis had worked in Hollywood with the Red movies, was working on Castlevania on Netflix. Chances are there's a high probability he had things in some form of production that all flew off the table. Not there anymore. Okay, comics aren't, nobody really gets rich. Uh, It's very few get rich from working in comics. I promise you Warren Ellis wasn't one of them. He got his money from Hollywood. So is this even about his money? Like, why would the industry be so obsessed to stalk him? I mean, this is is almost cyberbullying in in the weirdest fucking way. If you really had to look at this objectively, I'm not even sure if, if, if somebody has legal action, it would be Warren Ellis at this point. And Bleeding Cool gets away with it and these, these journalists outposts because this side of women say this. All of these women consent. They were posting pictures of themselves nude with his, their, his name written on their naked bodies on the old forums. And now the women are sitting here saying, oh, he he tricked me. I thought I was special. He hypnotized me, they say. He could be a bad person, but he could also have not done anything wrong, technically. Bad people do exist. Bad people do have the ability to exist as long as they don't commit a crime. Well, did Warren Ellis really commit a crime, though? I think the crime here is really the writing of this article. Look at it. You have the title here talking about how he's creating an audio drama podcast and the return of Injection. But your very first paragraph is all about hopping on his past crimes. Right. So that I mean, you already color the whole article basically before even people have a chance to even read it. Right. 
and the weird thing is, obviously, this isn't going to stop. I mean, Warren Ellis, this is the thing. He's not allowed to write anything. Again, like I said, unless it's probably his own obituary, then they would give him a thumbs up on that. But anyways, I just wanted to rant a little bit about this. This is an interesting time in the American comic book industry, just because you can actually watch and document this behavior. But anyways, uh, Inglorious Rex, sign up for Inglorious Rex 2 is live. We had books come in today on some of our uh, books that we're fulfilling. We're expecting the rest of them at the end of the month. Please go sign up for this. Um, we are offering a lenticular card with the uh, sign up uh, with purchase. So there will be secret tiers for just the people that sign up. Look down below. Independent comics, guys. This is where it at. You know, go sign up if you will, and we will catch you guys again with another video.